Hello all. So now we are moving to another problem where a lamina is given. A lamina, a quadrilateral is given. This distance is 60, this is 40, this angle is 60 degree, 30 and 30. This is given. And we have to draw the isometric view of this particular lamina parallel to HP and parallel to VP. So first, the what is the first step? First we have to draw the orthographic projection of this object. See, since this is given, we have we first draw the orthographic projection. How can we draw this? Draw a horizontal line at a distance of 60 mm, at an inclination of 60 degree, draw 40 or 4 centimeter, so that we have obtained a D. Keeping this as center, at a, uh, draw a radius of 30. Keeping B as center, intersect R, an arc of 30, so that we have obtained the intersection point as C. So A, B, C and D. So in this manner, we can complete the quadrilateral. Clear? So I am drawing it again here. So this is our quadrilateral. A, B, then C, so this is B, this is C, this is D. So the quadrilateral is being constructed. So the first step is uh, inscribe the quadrilateral in a rectangle. So that is also completed. Now we are going to draw the isometric view when it is parallel to ground or when it is placed on ground. We know that when it is parallel to or placed on ground, it is a xy plane. xy plane means in isometric scale, x is inclined at an angle 30 degree towards right, y is inclined at an angle 30 degree towards the left. So first we have to draw that. So draw a horizontal line, select this point and mark it as a and at an inclination of 30 degree. Here also draw a line at an inclination of 30 degree. So both are been completed. Now take this distance mark here so that we have obtained B. Take this distance mark here so that we have obtained this point. Suppose this is 1, we have obtained 1. Now what is the next step? Throw this point, draw a line parallel to isometric y. Similarly, throw this one, draw a line parallel to isometric x. So, we have obtained the point 2 also. So, the isometric view of the rectangle is completed. Now, the point A is itself is point A, this point itself is B. How can you obtain D? Take this distance, mark here, take this distance and mark here so that we have obtained D. Now, the important thing, how can we locate C? In fact, for teaching you this, how to locate an internal point, that is the purpose of this question indeed. So, how can we locate the interior point or inside point C? See, the method is, through this point C, draw a vertical line and draw a horizontal line so that we have obtained two intersection points on the axis or the, of the, on the quadrilateral, on the rectangle, inscribed rectangle of the quadrilateral. Clear? So, draw a perpendicular through this and a horizontal through this. Perpendicular means a parallel to y axis, horizontal means a parallel to x axis. Now we have can locate those two points here also. Take this distance, mark here. Take this distance, mark here. Now, through this point we have drawn a line parallel to x axis. Similarly, through this point we can draw a line parallel to isometric x axis. Through this point draw a line parallel to y axis. So through this point draw a line parallel to isometric y axis, parallel to this or this one. So that we have obtained the point C. So this is the required isometric view of the given quadrilateral. Okay. So it is a parallel to HP. Now, how can we draw in the parallel to VP? Simple. C. Draw a line. Look at that point as here. Since it is a parallel to VP, it is lying on X Z plane. So this is our isometric x axis and this is our isometric z axis. 
So, take this distance and mark here to obtain B, take this distance and mark here to obtain 1, throw this one, draw a line parallel to this isometric X, throw this B, draw a line parallel to this isometric Z, so that the quadrilateral has been completed. Now, this is our A, this is our B, take this distance so that we have obtained D. Now, take this much distance, mark a point here, draw a line vertical, draw a line parallel to isometric Z. Take this much distance, draw a line parallel to isometric X, so that this will be your C, so that this is isometric view of the water light. clear. So, the purpose of this question is to locate the point like this, interior point to the inscribed rectangle. So, how can we obtain that point? Through that point, draw on vertical and horizontal to intersect points on the inscribed rectangle. Mark those rectangles in the corresponding isometric view of the quadrilateral, isometric view of the rectangle, and from that you can obtain the point C. Here a vertical line, vertical line means here a line parallel to y and parallel to x axis. Similarly, from here draw a line parallel to isometric y and from here parallel to draw a line parallel to isometric x axis so that you can obtain the quadrilateral. Okay. So I think you have obtained, you have understood.